Hi everyone. If a foreign gene is cloned into any standard vector and introduced into a host cell, it may not necessarily produce significant amount of the recombinant protein as proper expression and synthesis of a product is brought about by a precise set of signals. In this slide, special vectors were designed to accomplish this goal, which were aptly termed expression vectors. In other words, while a cloning vector is used to just amplify foreign DNA fragments in the chosen host cell, it is actually an expression vector that has to be used to fulfill the goal of synthesizing the gene product, which might be RNA or protein of the foreign DNA. So, what are the features of expression vectors that empower them to do so? These essentially contain a collection of signals that bring about transcription and translation of the cloned genes in the host cell. These signals include primarily the promoter, ribosome binding site and terminator sequences needed for the foreign DNA to be expressed in the host cell. The promoter incorporated here is usually a strong promoter, meaning that it enables a high transcription rate. For example, lag promoter that is induced by IPTG and repressed by the catabolite glucose. The strength of a strong promoter lies in the fact that it attracts more and more RNA pol molecules as soon as the earlier polymerase molecule moves on. This ensures a peak expression of the newly cloned genes. And obviously, the chosen promoters of the expression vectors designed ought to be compatible with the host expression systems. Besides, a multiple cloning site MCS is positioned downstream of the promoter NRBS so that the inserted foreign gene is transcribed and translated well. The DNA of an expression vector should have codons that are preferred by the host cell in the codon bias. The promoter marks the start of the replication. In E. coli, it is recognized by the sigma subunit of the RNA polymerase holoenzyme. Most basic and common E. coli promoter is LAC promoter, which is a strong promoter from the natural LAC operon that controls the transcription of the LAC-Z dash genes. Some other strong as well as inducible prokaryotic promoters include the natural TRIP and the synthetic TAC promoters. Now the ribosome binding site is located in the transcript where the ribosome binds to start the translation process which is required for formation of an effective protein product. And lastly, the terminator marks the end of transcription by dissociating the RNA polymerase from itself. The most common uh, terminator sequence is GC-rich palindromic sequence followed by AT-rich sequence. Hence, the transcript being complementary in stretches forms a hairpin loop-like structure which terminates the transcription. Now, what are cassettes and gene fusions? In a vector, the expression signals like promoter, RBS and terminator together form a so-called cassette. Since they are assembled together in the same order as mentioned, the foreign gene is de designed to be inserted within a restriction site in such a way that these three critical components are not disturbed. In addition, an own or self-gene encoding a selectable product may be used to fuse to the incoming DNA by design, leading to the production of something called a fusion protein. This concept is very powerful because efficient translation of the clone gene is ensured since it is tagged on to a gene of the host system upstream of itself. The incoming gene hence is not perceived foreign and even the RBS also responds to it favorably during translation. The newly expressed protein gets help in stabilization within the host cell since it has been fused with something that is very own to the host cell that is the bacterial peptide. 
perceiving the product to be its own the host system gets confused and doesn't degrade it rather it tends to retain the same the bacterial segment of this fusion protein may constitute a signal peptide too an affinity chromatography column may be set up for the purification of the target protein by employing antibodies to the self protein as ligand for a one step efficient and quick purification of the fusion protein the washings are discarded and from the elevate the protein product is recovered from the self protein by a specific cleavage in vitro or in the lab now the mixture of the two is again passed through the same column and this time its washing portion contains our product of interest while the self protein stays back in the column this was demonstrated by successful fusion products using beta galactosidase as the self tag for humulin somatotropin and somatostatin etc from e coli expression vectors are now routinely used in numerous pharmaceutical productions designing transgenic organisms and gene therapy amongst many other uses with awesome results choice of the host expression systems varies from case to case for example escherichia coli bacillus subtilis various yeast systems baculovirus based insect cultures ti based plant systems mam- mammalian cell lines and even cell free systems have been successful which we shall be dealing with in separate videos the most critical point worth reiterating is that while designing an expression vector the strength of its promoter is of critical importance so that overproduction of the target proteins may be enabled thus choosing the right promoter with utmost care really pays well some prokaryotic strong promoters including include lac trip tac lambda pl and t7 promoters which work fantastically for tremendous production of the target products gratuitous inducer iptg works as an efficient inducer for lac tac and t7 promoters whereas 3 beta indo acrylic acid and less than 30 degrees temperature for trip and lambda pl respectively work as shown in this conceptual figure likewise there are some strong eukaryotic promoters as well these include gal promoter aox promoter glucoamylase promoter and cello biohydrolase promoter inducible by galactose methanol starch and cellulose respectively any foreign gene that is cloned downstream of these in the correct reading frame would yield its protein product in amplified quantities in some of these cases using certain repressors the activity of these promoters can be switched off also whenever needed this is shown in the picture hence the repressors and activators of the promoter provide excellent control of gene expression hence guys these expression vectors containing expression cassettes of promoter rbs and terminator have proved to be indeed a priceless gift of recombinant technology to human kind hope this simplified description was easy for you to understand and grasp keep learning blissfully we shall be back very soon with more we are thankful to you for your support and appreciation stay blessed and take care